I am going to teach you a topic called the decision tree. Don't give me that quizzical look. I was just like you when I first said decision tree. I thought to myself, I've heard that phrase before somewhere, but I can't figure out where, so I'm just going to repurpose it for this video. Before we get onto the decision tree, can I just give you a quick overview of how you as a human being work? Because it's very important to this process and also you might not even know as it is. So you are made up of two parts, your body and your mind. And your body lives in the outside world and your mind is its own little inside world that you've created that only you have access to. So you don't even have to keep it tidy up there. The rest of us will never see it. Your body has a bunch of senses. You know the normal ones like sight and sound and touch and smell and all those bad boys. Those get transferred into your inside world. Funny story, right? Now that Elon Musk's Neuralink is a thing, technically, there is no technological reason why we can't have more than those normal sensors. So for instance, you could have a security camera somewhere hooked into your Neuralink and then you'd be able to see like you normally do through your eyes through that security camera. There might be some sort of ethical debate about it, but technology wise, that's possible, which is scary, I think, but exciting. So it doesn't matter what inputs you have. You have a bunch of sensors. And these inputs get encoded into a way that your mind can understand. Now, obviously, your mind isn't the outside world. So the outside world that you think you love and know isn't really the outside world. It's just a representation of the outside world that you've created. If I were to ask you, how do you normally make decisions? You'd go, well, I think, and then I make a decision. But that's false. That's not true because you're an idiot. You don't think. And also, all humans don't think. That's not how we work. We feel and then we make a decision. So the senses that we have on the outside and then the internal things that we feel, your emotional state, in other words, help us make the decision. So if I were to give you two examples of things where you're not going to get hurt, they're exactly the same, the only difference is the emotional state, you'd have a different answer. Like for instance, if you're sitting on your couch and then I say to you, can you lift your arms and close your eyes? You'd be like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's easy. What if you were on a roller coaster and you were scared and excited and I asked you, can you close your eyes and lift your arms? You'd be like, no, I need to see. That's your emotional state making that decision. It's slightly different. That's where the decision tree comes in. The decision tree is only in your mind. It's literally something you create inside this inside world. There's no outside world representation of it. And also the decision tree it's kind of like an advisor. It's not a cheat code to life. You can't all of a sudden use the decision tree to lessen the load and not have any effort in the outside world. You still have to really make the decision. You are still in control. Let's have a look at your decision tree for a second. Right, that's tiny. It's, uh, can be, you, know, you can water it and stuff and grow it over time. Let's take a normal healthy one like mine, for instance. This is like an advisor, like I said. So normally, when you feel and make a decision, that's your normal process. But if you passed on a decision-making thing to the decision tree, it would give you the right or correct or best answer possible. It doesn't have to think, doesn't have to feel. It's like a black box. Whatever it decides, that's the correct answer. And obviously, you're in control. You can still say, no decision tree, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else, which you can say to a normal advisor. But here's the fun part right the more you grow your decision tree the better it is and this is actually really helpful in life you can pass things on to the decision tree get the correct answer and do the correct thing probably i don't know i'm babbling at this point because it's freaking hot but but i think you need to do this as, as a homework exercise i'm not going to do it for you because I'm gonna be here all day, I'm gonna melt. I need to go back into my air conditioned room. I just came out for a second to make this video for you. And it's raining in there. <laughs> That's why I'm wet, I guess. This is now an end screen. What that means is the video is finished. So you can hit subscribe down below, but then, but then hit the link video up above. Good to see you.